What's going on? It's Jacob, third year med student from Kansas City, driving on my way to the hospital. Uh, I'm getting here early today because I have some new patients on our list that I have to look up and be ready to present to our resident and our attending. Um, so kind of a, a little insight into how a day in the life goes on internal medicine. So you get there, you look up your patients, get the newest labs, see how they're doing, talk to the nurses and see if there were any major events overnight for them. And then you'll go see your patients, which we call pre-rounding. You'll kind of gather up all the info that you get, make your plan for the day. Do they need any uh, procedures? Do they need to add any new medications onto their list? And then we'll round all, we'll round with our whole team and the residents and the attending kind of go over our plan and uh, talk about the patient and kind of what's going on with them. That'll get us to about noon or one o'clock. And then after that, we have some lectures usually or some teaching from one of the residents or attendings. And then after that, we typically go check in on our patients one more time and let the residents know if there's anything that changes or it needs to be done. And we're usually done and out of here by three or four o'clock. Um, on days when our team is not on call, that's what happens. If we are on call, then we stay usually till seven or so and we'll take new admissions from the from the emergency room to the inpatient floor. All right, so it's just before six o'clock. I'm in at the med school in my little office. And as I mentioned earlier, it's time to look up our patients for the day and check out and see if they had any new labs done, any new tests or anything like that. And I also have a new patient that I'm gonna see today. So it's just about seven o'clock. I'm all done looking at my patients for the day. It's time to go see him. So when you're pre-rounding on your patients in the morning, the main things that you wanna be on the lookout for are changes in their status. So if you saw somebody yesterday and they were doing fine, and you come by this morning and they're in a lot of distress, they're having problems breathing, or they're in a significant amount of pain, that's something that's really important to know because when you're on rounds presenting to the residents and the attendings, that's an acute, what we call an acute event. Um, if they're in an increased amount of pain, or they had vomiting or any of those things, those are acute events that you wanna be able to report. Um, also important to look at labs. Today I had a patient who was having some bleeding and then their hemoglobin, their blood count dropped very low to the point where we have to give them a transfusion. So all of these things are really important to know when you're looking up your patients and when you're going to see them um, to check on how they're doing. All right, so it's about 7.45, 8 o'clock, and I'm all done seeing my patients for today. Uh, now it's time to go type my notes with any updates that happened overnight and a new plan for today. conference room that we're going to have our social rounds in in just a few minutes this place will be packed with all the other students the attending doctors the residents the social workers and we talk about some of the social issues that the patients could potentially have whether or not they're able to get their medications if there's a financial reason for it or whether or not they're going to need uh, follow-up after they get out of the hospital maybe they need to go to a rehab facility to get stronger um, so this is the kind of time we spend about 30, 45 minutes a day in here just talking about those things so that when the patients do get out of the hospital, everything is set up for them. We make it easy so that they can get the remainder of the care that they need. After our social rounds, we'll round as a whole team on all of our patients throughout the day and talk about updates that we've had since the day before, if there's any new treatments or any new teams that need to be consulted like cardiology or GI, any new medications that need to be started, and talk about what our plan is for the day and the, co the next coming days as we try to get them better. All right, so it's about noon right now. We just finished up rounding with the big team. So now we take this time to come back and update our notes with anything new that was discussed during rounds. Um, and then after that, we'll have our lunch. We'll go to any lectures that were scheduled for today and then we'll meet up later after we check up on our patients again for checkout rounds. All right, so it's about 2.30. We're back in the same conference room we were at this morning for our social rounds. Now we are here for our afternoon checkout round. So this is a chance for us to check up on our patients once one more time before we head home, make sure that any changes that we were implementing in the morning on rounds were made and that the patients are doing okay with those. We want to make sure that they're not having any issues after we leave uh, so that they can have a good night and continue to get better. 
All right, so we just got done with our afternoon checkout round. This is kind of where we follow up with our patients again early in the afternoon and see how they're doing. If anything was changed in the morning plan with our early rounds, we'll certainly follow up on that. Um, if they had any procedures or anything done, we'll see how they're going at, see how they're doing after that. Um, but it's about three o'clock and I'm headed home. I'm gonna go ahead and study, do some practice questions and read a little bit in my textbook. The nice thing about this rotation is typically a lot of your work does happen in the morning and you typically have an easier afternoon schedule. On most days, we're probably done between three and four o'clock. Um, if our team is on call, which happens about once every fourth or fifth day, then we'll stay to take new admissions uh, or patients that need to be seen that are coming to the floor and being admitted to the hospital from the emergency room. So I'm back home in my room now. I got some dinner. I took a shower and got into some more comfy clothes. I have a test coming up in about four weeks, so I'm gonna do some practice questions and read in my book. Let's get to work. <laughs> So it's about 9 30 10 o'clock now i've been studying since five i've been doing practice questions and reading in my book typically around this time at night i don't like to study super late uh, because i don't think i get as much out of it when i'm tired so i like to wind down with some youtube videos or an episode of my favorite show i'll get to bed and we'll do it all again tomorrow thanks for joining me on a day in the life and i'll see you next time